These mountains are filled with folk tales, and it's easy to get lost in the back roads here. It can take a while to get where you're going. The curves can dip through hollows and twist through these Appalachian mountains with side roads that disappear into the wild hills or trace their way along rolling creeks and rivers. This isolation has shaped much of the region's culture and the legacy of its people. In generations past, within these dark coves and tiny villages that laced the hollows, mountain people had to be self-reliant. They made root cellars in the ground to store canned goods. They heated their homes with trees from the hills around them. They had farriers, blacksmiths, midwives, and granny witches. Granny witches were folk healers in the old days of the Appalachian settlement communities, and these individuals were very well skilled in herbal remedies that uh, cured sicknesses, birthed babies, uh, predicted the weather, and in their minds, uh, warded away curses. As these immigrants built their new lives, these old ways quickly mutated into something uh, entirely different, where you saw a mixture of Native American cultures and old world traditions in the Scots-Irish world, forming what they believed to be was a particular type of magic. Now we know today that this was more of just basic wisdom on uh, from generations of trial and error from trying all these different supplements and herbal remedies for curing your basic colds and your basic diseases. But back then it did seem like these people were truly doing some form of magic. These ladies had accumulated a lifetime worth of knowledge of how to help and assist people through some really difficult times. And uh, we look back today as kind of a, a almost like a folk tale, but these people had real impacts on individuals' lives who lived in these mountains in the early centuries of settlements. At Home Place, it's always been our goal to honor these old traditions and sometimes ancient traditions. Uh, we saw this as an opportunity to sort of branch out and create a unique branding concept around uh, a particular archetype figure from our culture here in the mountains. And in this instance, we wanted to document the whole process from beginning to end. We wanted to uh, capture the day the beer was made, uh, the fact that it was aged in barrels for about a year. Uh, we wanted to capture the moment we started to conceive the branding direction uh, with our graphic designer, all the way to putting it in a bottle, labeling it, and putting it on a shelf. To me, these Granny Witch ones are a good opportunity to go back to the original kind of mood that Home Place was supposed to have from the get-go. And they've got some funny superstitions and um, methods of healing. 
a lot of that at times was seen as otherworldly and, and not necessarily in a good way. It all seemed like a, a blending of the, the world they had left, the environment that they had found themselves in, um, it, it, the isolation led to some unique solutions to these problems. Growing up, everybody's heard of, of that, that witching stick to, to find water. And I, I wanted to use the stick if possible, and just because of the, the role it plays in Appalachia and some of the activities that were seen as kind of supernatural and, and that. There's some spooky uh, superstition or some, some spooky stories around the owls. Um, uh, you know, sometimes you hear it referred to as the devil's spy, and that was something that I kind of stuck with me that I thought would make this being a farm owl and this being a, a barn owl seem to, to be an easy connection to make for this label. Um, and I, I always like to work in some, some creepy animals if possible. We are putting our first sour funky beer into bottles today, which is pretty scary because we've never put uh, mixed culture beers and fermenters and run them through our lines and our pumps before. So this is definitely a new thing for us and a, a bit of an experiment. And we're just gonna trust our chemicals and heat to uh, kill all the bugs after we're done, hopefully.